The woke object to these terms of respect. They want the few and the proud to stop saying sir or ma'am out loud. A new report suggests the Marine Corps is considering dropping gendered language to avoid offending or misgendering leadership. They should get punished with push-ups for that. Except women suck at push-ups. A sexist would say. <laughs> Recruits would be banned from using phrases like sir or ma'am when addressing superiors. In turn, drill sergeants will ask recruits their pronouns before calling them maggots, pencil necks, and sissies. <laughs> Gender neutral identifiers like a person's rank would become the preferred way to address senior members. The policy recommendation comes from a $2 million study commissioned by the Corps, which concluded that traditional ways Marines address each other could be seen as offensive. And to think, the Pentagon could have used that $2 million bucks for traditional expenses, like $400 hammers and $600 toilet seats. <laughs> Luckily, some top brass within the uh, branch are pushing back, refusing to cave to the woke pressure. Of course, most active duty service members and veterans know this is all garbage. Like how even Fox employees know Greg's bodyguards are just a tax write-off. <laughs> As for whether the change actually gets implemented, remains to be seen. But those inside the core say, just like DeVito's underwear, it won't be changed overnight. <laughs> how necessary. Joe, how does this happen with you? You're a writer on the show. How do these lines get through? <laughs> Look, take it up with Joe Mackey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Dagan, uh, do you think making our military nicer in this PC way is a good idea? I don't think this sir or ma'am confusion is a new thing, is a 21st century woke issue. Um, and I'm speaking from personal experience. As you can probably see, I have a little too much testosterone. <laughs> no, what are um, you talking about? Dave? I am flat chested. <laughs> I have this weird, like, six pack neck. <laughs> that um, I look like I have an Adam's apple. For more than a decade, I had this really short haircut. I thought I looked like Wynonna Ryder, but I look like Vince Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't in the Marines, obviously, but it's really awkward. You know, you're standing in, in a restaurant and somebody comes up behind you and taps you on the shoulder and says, <clears throat> excuse me, sir, you're standing on my foot. <laughs> and you turn around and it's your date. <laughs> so to just get rid of ma'am and sir, just alleviate a lot of pressure and hurt. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, Jim, uh, you know, it's, this is why we have these kind of talk show discussions, because people have all sorts of perspectives. On I thought everyone was going to attack this, and it might not be an interesting segment. What do you think? Are the military onto something with this study? No. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, are Marines getting offended by words? Then maybe they shouldn't be in the front line fighting if they're worried about that. <laughs> I and I thought the only way to offend a Marine is ask if he's in the Navy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine, like, an alpha male drill sergeant screaming in a recruit's face? Do you understand me? He's like, yes, he, she, they, them, <laughs> LBGQ TV, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> it's so true. Lydia, this is... I, I don't think... And I, I said it in the read there that, that the, the rank and file, or probably most of the leadership, wants this. The problem is they hire these consulting firms, none of whom are military types, and they make their recommendations that would probably work at their dumb company, right? The study is the length of Anna Karenina. So <laughs> after three years, $2 million and all that effort, they had to come up with something that was provocative and new and interesting, and they landed on this. I don't like being called ma'am, but the alternative that they suggested is that you just use someone's last name, which sounds very chaotic because I can't remember people's names, right? Like, how does, like, yes, Shalou, like, it just doesn't have the same ring to it. Yeah. And I just think it's a recipe for confusion. I also think there's a lot of confusion as well because, I mean, are we going to have to change all of the songs to non-gender them, like the Battle Hymn of the Republic? Are we going to have to change it from... <laughs> He sounded forth the trumpet to they've sounded forth the trumpet. I just, I don't know where this, where this ends. Are yeah. there any sort of, yeah. Obviously it doesn't end, and, uh, but that's interesting. You don't like being called ma'am. Is that something, why? Is it old fashioned or do you, does it sound like? Uh, it sounds so stodgy. Yeah. But again, I don't have an alternative. Well, Southern people are raised to say yes ma'am, yes sir, no ma'am, no sir. Yes. 
and people don't like it makes them feel old but it sounds which i understand now hey you (laughs) (laughs) that's true joe a lot of these recruits a lot of the military types like she said these are like you know young southern men they love the tradition they want to join the core because of these traditions right yeah uh, well i think it's so strange i mean sir and ma'am are such terms of respect and look at the other things marines call each other they call each other grunts and jarheads. I can't imagine Marine saying, you know, it really hurt me when you refer to me as a jarhead. I really <laughs> exactly. that personally. And not only that, but the, uh, the bullets they shoot at other people are very hurtful, too. They are. Yeah, I think we're just getting close. Can we just say, with all this, what, let's just call each other comrade. Isn't this what it's all heading toward? <laughs> that we can just call each other comrade. We can get rid of uh, titles. We can get rid of pronouns. We can just say, great point, comrade. And then we'll say that while we're standing on the bread lines. Everyone would be much happier. Yes, it is true. And I mean, Dagan, I understand that your perspective, but really, these uh, troops, they want to... They want to experience these traditions, right? That they, they're more traditional type of people. And uh, I think that the women who go into the military, they're tough. They're not the type that are going to get offended by these things, are they? And the guys as well. Um, if I was a drill sergeant, I would love for the grunts to screw up as much as possible <laughs> so I'd have a reason to yell at them. So... Um, <laughs> Let them misgender me so yeah. I have a reason <gasps> to yell at them. Exactly. <laughs> Try complaining, right? Uh, I think lost in all this is that the military has long been, I mean, racially and in terms of gender, they were far ahead of the rest of society, and they always have been. So uh, here's to you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.